how would you like to find a quick and easy way to play effortless golf forever? I know I certainly would, so let me share with you some thoughts on that very subject to help you play effortless golf forever without searching and finding positions to play better golf. So lots of golfers will have multiple swing thoughts during the round, during the week, from every tip they see online or on internet. What I want to try and do is give you some things here today that are going to allow you to play your best golf, your best version of you, without too much work. Now when we think, and certainly I think of effortless, effortless golf, what I'd like to see people do is make what I would call a nice motion. A nice motion back and forth where we transfer pressure, transfer weight, and we'd have a very simple looking golf swing that then becomes effortless. So for me, the first point I'm going to talk about is the shoulder action. We want to create this flow. We want to feel that these shoulders are working on a nice circle, back and forth. So the first point I really want to talk about is the lead shoulder pointing down and just behind the golf ball, the trail shoulder pointing down and just past the golf ball and trying to get the shoulders operating in a circle. Now, obviously the tilt will change ever so slightly during the golf swing. We should have a slightly steeper shoulder turn on the way down. But if we try and feel that we just got these rotating on a circle, that for me is a great way to start. If we take the club, hold it with our palms up and just try and move this on an arc, letting the shoulders do what they want, how does that feel compared to normal? We want to create that motion. In terms of conceptual idea, when we go and hit the golf ball, what I'd like you to think about is something very simple. Um, Martin Chuck, one of my friends, talks about this a lot, and it's the heart. So the heart to the sky, the heart to the sky. And have that as the two swing thoughts to create the body motion we're after. When we move our shoulders this way and our heart this way, we want the lower half to respond. So as I turn, let it recruit the hips, let it recruit the knees, let it recruit the ankles to create that fuller turn. If we move the big muscles in the way we want to, the arms are going to follow quite closely behind and it'll be very hard to get the arms massively out of kilter if we're moving the shoulders correctly. So for example, if I move my arms up here, you see my shoulders can't turn in a circle. If my shoulders turn in a circle, the plane of the swing will be there or thereabouts. It might be slightly too low or slightly too high, but it'll be there or thereabouts within a small framework of where we want to be. So as a thought, it's a great way to start. So very simply, take a decent looking posture and then turn the shoulders in a circle. And I'm thinking there absolutely nothing about anything apart from turning my shoulders. And I was really happy with the outcome of the shot. I could go and play with that on the golf course today, tomorrow, and the next day. No other thoughts, no searching, and that ball flight, absolutely great. Let's get stuck into point number two. So in point number one, we talked a lot about the body and then the arms really finding their place because the body's moving really well. So what I want to talk about in point number two is a simple way of getting the arms to follow, be connected, be the right length, the right shape, to help us have then the perfect blend of both body and arms. If we take an alignment rod and we stick it under our trail armpit like so, if I make his backswing now and keep that connection, that is gonna get my arms to find a nice slot in terms of plane. The arms and body connect. I'm still trying to feel how like you move the shoulders the same way. As I swing through, I wanna keep the rod also there. Certainly for about a 7 8 swing. So this will give me a very what I call connected motion body led swing. The arms are still having a roll, the hands are still having their roll before people come down on me. We still want to use them but what we want to try and do is get the effortless side of this being that we're just really going to move our arms and body very simply and try and land the club in the same spot every time because we're pivoting and tilting the same way every time and we're getting the connection every time. In terms of a calibration for length this also works well too. If my left arm hits the rod that's kind of the end of my swing. There'll obviously be some slight overrun but that'll give me into a position with a, a nice length and width to my swing that gives me the consistency and repeatability of helping find the right sequence on the way down. In terms of the downswing with this rod this is the best advice I would give you. When we're at the top of the swing, our arm is on the rod. Keep your arm on the rod as long as you can. 
doing that helps to shadow the club and get these arms in the right orientation. If I'm at the top of the swing and my arms come away from that rod, you'll see there how they tend to work out and away, and then tend to lead me to cut across the golf ball. Now, obviously, if I'm moving my shoulders on the circle, that becomes really difficult to take the arms away from the rod. So again, we go back to the original thought of, if I can get my left shoulder or my heart to work, and my right shoulder to work the right way, my arm stays on the rod. But when we're focusing totally on the arms, it's a great way to just use this rod as feedback tool to help us get that repeatable, consistent, quick and easy technique. So we could do practice swings like that, but I'd also want you to actually hit some shots. Feel like you don't lose the rod and keep your arm on the rod. And keep this rod there until the end. Pose the finish. Keep yourself in that balanced finish to give you the feel of using the arms and the body for the quick and easy effortless swing. Let's show you how we do this now again without this on the golf course. So stepping out into the golf course, we want to try and tell our brain and body what we want to do. So what I would advise is you'd make a practice swing focus on the shoulders, feeling almost like your sleeve tucks into your armpit. Shoulder action, shoulder action. That's your practice swing. Then the real swing, again, just focus real hard on what the shoulders are doing. Turning the shoulders on a nice circle. Hold your finish till the ball almost lands and then reset and switch off. The switch off is to stop you overthinking, stop you searching. We really want to make it very simple thoughts in the course and a couple of practice drills, tips that allow us to calibrate, formulate our feels that we can take forever so we can play that effortless golf forever.